someone to start from this because I guess it has to be a real challenge, you know, to bring the never ending world out uh, in another medium, we can say. So I want to ask you, where did you start and which aspects were for you, you know, have to be in the show no matter what, to be truthful, you know, to the game? Yeah, I mean, one of the most, it's not every game that does it, but one of the most effective devices of the game uh, is um, in the games is starting with a vault dweller because they literally are coming out of their sort of bubble wrapped world and into a completely different one. And uh, we very early were like that. Well, it would be crazy not to do that. Uh, that feels so integral to the to the, the entire to the success of the franchise, the popularity, the reason we love the games so much. Um, so that was part of it. But we were also greedy. We wanted to tell more than just the Vault Dweller story. We wanted to uh, get the ball rolling on the, the, the conversation about a world divided by factions and, um, and, and those who haven't chosen a faction in Walton Goggins is the ghoul. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was the most integral part was uh, Ella's Lucy coming from the vault in, into, the, into the apocalypse and, and being confronted with uh, the reality of that world along with the audience. Yeah. I want to ask you something about the music because I guess it's really part of the show. It gave you the immersive experience almost. So I want to ask you something about this. Was it challenging? I, I mean, to embody the music in the in the episode and in the scene. It was brilliant. Well, we start, start with the great good fortune of, of collaborating with Rumi Jabari, who's one of my favorite humans in the world uh, and, and a brilliant composer. I've gotten to work with Rumi now on on three shows and his work is just beautiful and humane and, and emotional. And then we add to that the delicious needle drop songs, most of which frankly are taken from the games. It was one of the things about the games that I, I, I love the most in terms of the way they repurposed and recycled Americana, all kind of pre wall of sound, pre 1960s uh, American music that simultaneously emotional but also deeply ironic and, and commenting on all that's been lost and, and, and the kind of America, and this is a crucial thing for this story and these games, the America that ended, the world that ended, was not our world, was not our America. It was this America that had never gone through a Watergate, never gone through a Vietnam, never had a moment of national reflection and barreled forward with nuclear-powered swagger for another hundred years until meeting its bitter edge. The music is always there as kind of this very visceral reminder mm -hmm. of the world that went away. It's also a big part of the, the the exercise of Fallout is like that music and those landscapes should not go together. Yeah. And that is the charm of it. And, you know, if you look at what the work Jonah's done and Geneva's done and the work I've done, those also should not go together. <laughs> no, they should <laughs> <laughs> But we're kind of like, you know, it's cheese whiz and peanut butter. So you, you, you got to try it. Uh, not everyone... You know, thinks th these things will go to well together, but we, we, we were trying to get the word out about specifically cheese whiz and peanut butter. Yeah. We hope you enjoy the show, but There's also try the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to do our adaptation of the games and not borrow from the, the, the amazing work that people have done on their own out there. Um, that, that was my personal philosophy, but we all came at it differently. No, that's how I feel as well. I mean, I, I think we're guided by, uh, if we're guided by the fans' love of the games, is guided by our love as fans. Yeah. I think, and one of the things about the Fallout games, one, one of the things that makes them so evocative and exciting is they're open world games. Your character, you can make your character, they're role playing games. You can make your character bad, good, somewhere in between, and your version of playing that game is going to be very different than my version. I know my version of playing that game is very different from my yeah. version of playing that game. So everyone has a kind of a different experience playing these games. You couldn't possibly faithfully translate all of those different experiences. You have to make some, you have to make some choices. So I think we were both guided uh, from a place of love, a deep love for the games, and then you have to make some decisions. Yeah. 